Good morning students. Welcome to the statistics class. I hope you people are all doing good. In the previous class, I have solved problems on index number, especially in the weighted average of relatives. In the weighted average of relatives, I have solved a problem on weighted arithmetic mean index number and weighted geometric mean index number. Now, let's move on let's move further in solving some more problems in index numbers i have taken you i have taken one variety one specific problem uh, which is there on the screen right now to you it's called as compute kelly's price index number for 2005 from the following data it's compute kelly's price index number for 2005 from the following data you know students before I start uh, with this problem you always have to keep in your mind when you're solving the problems in index numbers it's obvious that you should have the uh, memory of all those uh, formulae if ever you have this formula in your mind, it would be easy for you to understand what formula we can use for the data given to us and then we can start solving the problem. So in construction of index number, one of the aspect of uh, being successful uh, in, in doing index number analysis properly is identifying the formula correctly based on the data now there is a data in this particular problem a data is given to us the data about the prices of uh, some four commodities has been given to us data of prices in 2000 prices in 2005 prices in 2000 they have given prices in 2005 they have given and quantity they mention only quantity they mention Usually in any in index number, we speak about quantity of the base year or the quantity of the current year. But in this problem, they very specifically said that it is the quantity only, nothing of nothing, men, nothing they have mentioned about the year. Either it is base or current, they have not mentioned, only they have mentioned is quantity. So the question comes here, which is the index number which takes into consideration only the quantity? It doesn't take into consideration quantity of base year or quantity of current year. That means there is only one index number and that index number is Kelly's index number. Okay. So very clearly it is mentioned here in the textbook students. Here quantities neither relates to base year nor current year. So, the appropriate index number can be found by applying Kelly's fixed weight method. Kelly's fixed weight method. So, whenever you are doing this problem, students, I have also mentioned this to you that you, you have to make a point that you need to know the formula. Now, what is the formula for Kelly's index number? What is the formula for Kelly's index number? So the formula for Kelly's index number is like this P01K is it right is equal to summation P1Q divided by summation P0Q into 100 is it right P01K is equal to summation P1Q divided by summation P0Q into 100 is that clear students yes this is the formula so now we need to understand what is given to us so I'll I'll corrupt this problem and then we'll start solving this problem students okay will that be okay to you yes let me do that so that it will be easy for you to understand okay right Fine. 
this is the this is the one that we have the formula right students so let's start fine this is p not student price of 2000 is p not price of 2005 is p1 correct yes so now what, what we need to do is we need to this is q okay we need to find out p1 q p1 q and we need to find out p not q is that right students p1 q and p not q so when we find out this uh, what is that p1 q is the product of the current year price into quantity okay that is 22 into 15.5 22 into 15.5 so it is 34.1 then 27 into 12.5 it is 33 so sorry sorry students i would just like to refine it once again uh, 22 into 15.5 it's 341 it's 341 okay 27 into 12.5 memory plus it is 337.5 then it is 7 into 7.5 we get 52.5 okay then 20 into 7.5 it is 150 so when we add this students we get something around 881 so likewise let's do this for p not q that is 15 into 15.5 it's how much it is 232.5 okay the next 20 into 12.5 it is 250 students then 4 into 7.5 it is 30 then 10 into 7.5 it is 75 so when we add this students so we will be getting around 587 Point five students. This is summation P one Q, and this is summation P not Q. Okay. Right. Now I'll write it here. Summation P one Q is eight hundred and eighty one students. Eight eighty one. Summation P not Q is five eighty seven. It is five eighty seven point five into hundred. So it is 881 divided by 587.5 into 100, you get the answer as 149.95 students. This is the index number. Kelly's index number is 149.95. So 49.95 more than 100 so we can say that 49.95 percentage there is an increase this is how we solve the problem of kelly's price index number students okay right i hope you have followed this if not you can rewind and watch the video once again okay so let's let's uh, let's close this and go for the next problem okay the next problem what is the next problem that we have it here okay they said very clearly it's here calculate an index number calculate an index number by using the following data compute an index number by using the following data okay so once again, I'll crop this problem and then later we'll analyze the students. 
okay what formula that we should use and why we should use this all that we will study students okay uh, fine just follow this okay done fine now see that we'll read the question once again compute an index number by using the following data there are five commodities given to us base year they mentioned base year price base current year price they have mentioned now they have mentioned price that means it's an index number when they said it's always to be taken as price index number so price index number this is what we need to find out so in price index number okay which is the index number which has base year quantities as weights base year quantities as weights base year quantities that is q0 as weights okay so it is only last year's index number students so p01 l means it's a last year's index number last year's index number so last year's index number formula is summation p1 q0 divided by summation p0 q0 into 100 students is that clear okay now let's identify price of the base year this is p0 price of the current year it is p1 base year quantity it is q0 clear okay now what we need to do is we need to find out p1 q0 for all the items for all the commodities the next thing that we need to find out is p0 q0 for all the items so p1 q0 4 into 20 4 into 20 it is how much 80 okay then 10 into 40 it's how much 400 then 15 into 40 how much it is 600 then 25 into 50 it's how much 1250 then 50 into 10 it's how much it is 500 so when we add these students we'll be getting around 2830 this is summation p1 q0 likewise it is for p0 q0 that is 20 into 8 memory plus 160 P not Q not students. P not Q not. 8 into 20, 160. 12 into 40. 12 into 40. It is 480. 20 into 40. 800. 4 into 50. 200. Okay, then 5 into 50, it is 250. When we add that all together, you will be getting 1890. This is summation P0Q0 students. Substitute here, it is 2830 divided by 1890 into 100. If we do it, 2830 divided by 1890 into 100, we get as 149.739.735 percentage. Again, 49.735 percent more than 100. So we can say that 49.735% increase over the base year. 
this is how we can solve the problem i hope you have understood this students okay thank you we will solve some more problems in the next class